It's a park that has had a bad reputation lately, but Lexington City leaders hope to change that. Douglas Park is turning 100 years old next year, and several groups are already coming together to celebrate the park's centennial. Mike Linden tells us what plans the city has to bring people back to Douglas Park. One of Lexington's most controversial public parks is hitting a big milestone just months after a shooting over a basketball game that resulted in several people going to the hospital. Douglas Park turns 100 years old next year. The park kind of is the heart of the West End. And whenever you see the, the, the heart suffering, you want to do all you can to help heal it and to get it better. To celebrate the centennial and help heal the heart of the West End, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray, city council members, and other community leaders announced Douglas Days this afternoon. Volunteers will help clean up the park and plant trees on October 23rd and 24th. Well, if you come to Douglas Park in the coming days and notice white flags scattered throughout the park, those are the locations that volunteers will plant 100 trees to celebrate the 100th birthday of Douglas Park. With the help of the Georgetown Street Area Neighborhood Association, Douglas Day's organizers from Lexington Habitat for Humanity say the event aims to make the next 100 years at the West End Park special and safer for the community. We need to communicate that this is a safe place to be and it's a beautiful place to be and it's a well-equipped space uh, which undergirds all of those other things. In Lexington, Mike Linden for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. To go along with Douglas Days, the Lexington City Council has formed the Douglas Park Centennial Commission. It will try to find ways to bring more people to the park over the next year, including resurfacing the basketball court and a newly redesigned playground.